Hello, my name is Kane Munro, and today I am talking about business and life advice in song lyrics. So just what are today's lyrics? Okay, so I'll just blurt this out. There have been times through my life when I was an alcoholic, definitely by definition, albeit what you would probably describe as a high functioning alcoholic. Now, I could drink a bottle of wine on a weeknight and did, and still be at work at 7 a.m. the next morning, beavering away at work and still be beavering away at 7 p.m. at work uh, that night. Maybe with some more wine, maybe not. I could have half a dozen pints uh, when I was younger and go and referee soccer the next morning and then play soccer in the afternoon uh, as well without having any issue whatsoever. I could get so drunk at a wedding that I would have no recollection on how I got back home, but was still out the door at 8am the next day to go and take photos uh, of a major sporting event. These all happen, these are all real stories. But these stories are not stories that are meant to be a badge of honour for me, and in hindsight, they're actually pretty gross, they're pretty disgusting stories. So, I am not ever one to judge somebody on their drinking habits. I've certainly had my fair suck of the bottle, and <laughs> puns intended there. It does, however, mean that I actually feel really proud of myself that I haven't had a drink in just over a year now. It was a year on Monday. Strangely, I didn't really drink that much until I turned 18. But since then, alcohol has always been a part of my life, as it is for a, a number of Australians. Now, I loved having half a bottle of snaps with my high school mates, uh, and playing Bomberman uh, before going to the local nightclub back when we were uh, you know, probably 20 years old. And I loved when I was a graduate accountant and we had boardroom drinks every Friday night. Now, some of those Friday nights are some of the best times of my life. I've really enjoyed some times. And, and I loved the corporate functions where you had a bottomless glass of wine or beer or, or sometimes both. You could have whatever you wanted. I loved a long lunch that could stretch into the night. And I loved that a glass of wine or two could change my mood after a difficult day. Now, if I loved all of this, and I did love it, then what made me stop? And it's a number of things all combined. It could have been uh, so I would sleep better because I changed some things that I was really unhappy with in my life. Because I found other ways to cope with the issues and stresses of life. It could have been so my kid didn't have frequent alcohol consumption normalised. Uh, because I learned to deal with my insecurities better and because I was getting older and just wanted to feel a little bit healthier and a little bit better about myself. Honestly, I can't give you an exact reason uh, or an exact the reason why I did it. It was a combination of all those reasons. It definitely was not for any superficial reasons, nor was it to impress people. I've only told a handful of people until now because I don't find it that impressive at all. It's, it's really just a personal choice of mine and we all make personal choices. Just one day and nothing prompted it. I just stopped. And then after a month or maybe six weeks, it was a lot easier. And here we are 12 months later. Now, if you're curious, the main benefit I felt is that I definitely feel consistently much better through the course of the day. It's very constant and that's every day. The hardest part is people asking if I want to drink at a function. And this is only going to get worse. So it leads me to the question of, will I ever have another drink? Yeah, maybe. It, it will definitely be much harder to maintain now we can go back to social functions uh, and to dinners and to conferences and to catching up for, for drinks or, or food or, or just with friends. Then again, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll do, I won't have another drink at all. But that's the beauty of life. We can all change whatever we want, whenever we want. That's all for this week. I'll be back with another lyric next week and some advice from it. Until then, stay safe, stay well and change what you really want to change.